What is up guys? Today I am going to show you how to get Wi-Fi tethering on your rooted Sprint Galaxy S6 or S6 Edge. I have the S6 Edge, but this works on the S6 as well. The specifications are pretty much identical. So again, you definitely have to be rooted for this. There is an app in the App Store available called Wi I Tether Router, I think. I think that's what it's called. Yep, Wi-Fi Tether Router. It's by Fabio Grasso, or I don't know, sounds Italian. Um, I think it might be a paid app. I'm not sure. I downloaded it a long time ago. But it does have support for the rooted Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge. Um... It's very, very easy. Um, there's, if you look in the description, there is an info page, and I will include a link to this in the description so you can pull it up on your computer and configure the router yourself because you do have to change some options to make it work with our phone. But uh, if you are rooted, you will have no problem with this. If you are not rooted, you should go check out my other video that shows you exactly how to root your Galaxy S6 or S6 Edge. Um, it's, a, it's also a very easy process. But um, yeah, here I'll show you, I'll give you guys a little demo here. Just bear with me. All right, sorry for that delay. I am back now, and I am looking for the app. Where is it? There it is, Wi-Fi Tether Router. Okay, so you pull up this app, say, Enable Wi-Fi Router. It's been granted super user permissions. That's a good thing. I'm going to exit out of my browser. See, I don't have Chrome or anything open in either monitor. And I'm currently connected to my home wireless network. I'll go on open network settings, show you that there's no other networks available. It vibrates to indicate that it is now on. And you can see the network name is NFI. The Wi-Fi key is Bender1729. If you don't get that reference, you should stop watching this video now, get on Netflix, and watch Futurama, because it's probably the greatest animated series ever. Okay, so let's scan for wireless networks. Oh, sometimes if your backlight goes off, you can have some connectivity issues. Here we go. There's NFI, connect automatically. It already knows networks. Now I'm connected. There's my home page, and let's just go to the G3 version of XDA. And that's it. It's working perfectly. Let's do a little speed test. Begin test. Found a server. The ping I've noticed is a bit high, like it's not that great, but I uh, usually Wow, that's actually not very good compared to what I was getting. I was getting like 10 or 15 megs a second <clears throat> with the uh, wireless router or with the hotspot, but it is 4 o'clock in Lexington, Kentucky, so the LTE network might be a little clogged right now. But um, yeah, that's it. It works. It works perfectly every time. There are configuration instructions. Uh, the link to those is in the description. Thank you guys for watching, uh, rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.